Hi uh, everyone, uh, it's Vinny here, and I am here to uh, do something that a lot of you probably don't know I do, or unless you have me on Facebook. Um, I've been ranting a lot recently, just for fun, I don't know, I get bored at work, so I just write long things when I'm at lunch, <laughs> I post them on Facebook. Anyways, um, but people have been liking them, so I thought I'd do a couple video ones. And the one of the first video ones I'm going to do is actually about hipsters. And this was actually requested that I rant about it, which is a little odd. But it was a request, and so I'm going to meet the request, obviously. Now, hipsters. Hipsters are people... Hipsters are people that love philosophy. They listen to indie music. They're wisecracking a lot of the time. Hipsters are really cool people. They wear older clothes that a lot of other people don't wear anymore. They... They just... They live differently, I should say. They're an interesting group of people because they seek out and they look for things that other people wouldn't. And I actually kind of admire it. They, they'll go out of their way to find a band that no one's heard of, and they'll listen to it and they'll enjoy it. And in a way, it's kind of helpful to a lot of bands because I'm sure a lot of bands don't have that many fans, and I'm sure a lot of bands people don't know about and that's helpful for them. And then there's a lot of poetry that they read. There's a lot of things that they'll go after that people nowadays don't. You know, people are sitting around on their butts watching My Little Pony. And we got this group of people over here who's just enjoying a song or a show that no one else has heard about. And, you know, frankly, I think it's real cool. I mean, it's really cool. But, um... My friend didn't want me to talk about the cool hipsters. She wanted me to talk about the hipsters that are more or less kind of wannabes, kind of not. Um, to be a wannabe hipster is a little difficult because the term hipster is very... It, it, it varies. The term hipster could mean anything from people that only listen to this kind of music or this kind of TV or only watch this kind of TV show or only like this kind of food you know and it can also mean someone that only t likes it in variation um I know a lot of hipsters that are into My Little Pony I know a lot of hipsters that are into bigger things like Doctor Who or Supernatural you know I know a lot of hipsters that are on Tumblr I know a lot of hipsters you know and pretty much what hipsters are kind of vary. It's not like being emo, where if you're emo, you're supposed to listen to screamo or depressing music, you know, Linkin Park, um, and you have to, like, I don't know, just be in pain? I, I'm not really, I don't know a whole lot about being emo, because, frankly, I'm a very happy person, and I kind of always have been, so I'm not really sure what being emo is. I just know that there are certain aspects to it where you have to be that way to be fit into the emo community kind of thing. And it's the same with, um... It's the same with quite a few things, actually. Uh, being hipster can kind of vary, from what I've learned, anyways. Again, I want to say, before I go further, that this is all my opinion, this is all what I've seen, this is all what... It, this is everything that has to do with this is not completely based on fact. So if I say something that isn't true, you can correct me. You can comment, you can email, you can do whatever you want, you can correct me. Because I'm not always right. Heaven forbid I get told this by every girlfriend I have. So anyways, moving on from that. Um, pretty much what you wanted me to talk about was the uh, wannabe hipsters. Though, I, again, I don't really see that many... I don't really see many people being wannabe hipsters. Um, there is... The, the term... Let's start with the term. The term hipster comes from beatniks from the 1930s. And that's pretty much what a hipster is now. They're more modernized, obviously. And it's kind of a fad, almost. And, and I guess that's where the wannabe hipsters kind of come into play. It's kind of a fad. Anyways... So, a good example of a hipster is when I was in a chat room and I was talking it up with one of my buddies. We were talking about My Little Pony, alright? Love My Little Pony. Not exactly a brony. I wouldn't put myself in that little area. I ain't... It's not really my thing. 
All right, I like the fandom. I collect some of the toys. It, it's nice. All right. And if I was at a convention, a pony convention, you a brony man? Yeah, okay, I'm a brony for now. All right. But just like hipsters, actually, there's not really no wannabe bronies. Either you like the show or you don't. Anyways, um, that's an entirely different fucking rant that will go on for hours. Um, hipsters, the wannabe hipsters are the hipster, the people that wear the big freaking sunglasses, the big freaking like wannabe like glasses, and they don't have lenses in them, and they, they. They constantly talk about how shitty the mainstream is, and, oh, I hate everything that you like kind of thing. They they hate, they hate, like, the popular, ooh, popular stuff. They can't stand, they can't stand people that like it either, which is kind of weird, because I'm friends with a lot of them, but the, the, the wannabe hipsters, which is what my friend wants me to talk about, which is what my friend wants me to rant about, it, it, they ain't, they're, they're, they're not, they're not, uh, what's a good word for this, they're, they're kind of annoying, in my personal opinion, they're kind of annoying, they, you know, but again, the same could be said about a lot of people, a lot of groups, I'm kind of annoying, so don't take that as offense for anybody out there that might be watching this video, but, Hipster, the the wannabe hipsters that my friend's talking about, they, they'll go out of their way. They'll go out of their way to say they're hipster. They'll buy the big glasses. They'll, they'll, they'll go out of their way to find old bands, not necessarily indie bands, but they'll find old bands and they'll say, oh, I'm so hipster. I've always loved, I've always loved it this i loved it before it was cool and you know that's again that, that even is isn't even technically hipster either but they'll they'll go out of their way to do that they'll wear like the weird clothes and stuff like that which you know hipsters don't get me wrong hipsters do wear kind of weird clothes at least to me because look at me i'm wearing like the uh the modernized clothes i'm wearing modern clothes you know pretty much plaid and blue jeans and a fucking watch you know, as where the wannabe hipsters will be like, well, I'm hipster, I can't wear that. And they'll have, like, a fucking monocle, and they'll have, like, some weird-ass, like, cor corset shit going on, and they'll they'll be walking around with, like, their pinkies up and some tea. I don't know, I'm describing a British person now. But that's what pretty much the wannabe hipsters are. Um, real hipsters, like, I have a friend that's a legitimate, goes out of his way, talks about Einstein, loves all that shit. The real hipsters wear some pretty weird stuff too, but they're not like that. They don't they don't they don't go out of their way to say they're hipster. They you just know. But then there are people that will go out of their way to say they're hipster. They're they're like forcing it on you, like I am hipster. You must believe me, I am hipster. This is me being hipster. Look at my glasses. Like I that's the kind of hipster she wants me to rant about, and you people bother me. Um, of course, be whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. It's your life. You enjoy it. Again, this is all opinion. This is not fact. If my fact was... If my word was fact or law, I don't even know what my life would be, man. I'd be, like, fucking rich, and that would be awesome, because I wouldn't be living in a shitty apartment. Anyways, point taken. So those are the hipsters that bother me. I mean... Going back to my conversation with my friend, this, me and my friend were just having a nice conversation about My Little Pony in a My Little Pony form, in a My Little Pony chat, and this asshole comes in and goes, My Little Pony sucks dick. And I'm like, well, they probably do, considering they're all fucking female. Three of them at least have to be straight. And he's going off about how the fuck he's hipster, and that he hates My Little Pony, and then I'm just like, dude, why the fuck are you in here then? Get out! Like, fuck! Fuck! I'm not even a huge fan of My Little Pony, but if you're gonna come at me with, this sucks, but you're on a fucking form, you had to look it up. You're just trying to make me angry, and I get angry easily. Don't make me angry, I hate it. I don't, actually, I love it. I love saying fuck. It's my favorite fucking word! Anyways, so, he comes in, he flips out, he he goes on this little rampage about how he's a hipster and how his glasses are huge and how My Little Pony sucks because it's not hipster. And then he could name all six ponies and what they did in their elements of harmony, so I think he's a lying piece of shit. But either way, that's what hipsters are. This rant fucking sucked. 
because I don't have a lot of experience with hipsters. But that's that's my rant. <laughs> Anyways, Vinny, Daring Dodger, whatever you want to call me, I'm out.